Today we are going to discuss uh, the problems related to the orifice meter. Remember, uh, this is orifice meter, not the orifice. Okay, orifice meter is the device which is used to find the discharge through the pipes, and it's uh, just a circular plate with an opening placed insert are uh, placed inside the pipe to measure the discharge. Okay. So we have seen the theory of it and already we know the derivation of it uh, and we have the formula for discharge Q is equals to CD into A0 into A1 divided by square root of A1 square minus A0 square into root of 2GH. This is the formula what we have already derived. Let us see the problem right now. An orifice meter with orifice diameter 10 cm is inserted in a pipe 20 cm. Daya. The pressure gauges fitted upstream and downstream of the orifice meter gives reading uh, 19.62 newton per centimeter square, 9.81 newton per centimeter square, respectively. Coefficient of discharge for the orifice meter is given as 0.6. Find the discharge of water through this. So, in this uh, orifice meter, the fluid flowing is water, and uh, they have fixed. Uh, one uh, pressure measuring device in upstream side and other in downstream side which is upstream see consider this is a pipe in this uh, uh, this orifice plate is being placed and water is flowing from this side to this side so this part the part which is before the approach of the orifice meter is considered as the upstream side and the part of the pipe which is after the op approach of the orifice meter is considered as downstream okay so here they have fixed the one pressuring measuring de pressure measuring device here they have fixed one pressure measuring device and they got the readings respectively and uh, in this the pipe is having diameter 20 centimeter in that the opening of the orifice is just 10 centimeter okay so I will note down 10 centimeter as D naught and uh, diameter of the pipe as D1. So, which is 10 centimeter as D naught, which is uh, 0.1 meter. D1 is 20 centimeter, and I will write in uh, 0.2 meter in terms of meter. Then the pressure in the upstream side, I will take it as section 1. Pressure in the downstream side, I will take it as the pressure at section 2. Okay, so similarly, I have noted it as P1 19.62 Newton per centimeter square, which I will convert it into uh, Newton per meter square just by multiplying 10 to the power 4. Okay, and uh, similarly, P2 9.81 Newton per centimeter square, and uh, I am converting it into Newton per meter square just by multiplying it with 10 to the power 4. So it will become Newton per meter square, and uh, coefficient of discharge of the orifice meter is given as 0 0.6 okay and uh, this is our formula to calculate the discharge through the orifice meter q is equals to cd into a naught into a1 divided by root of a naught a1 square minus a naught square into root of 2gh okay this is in uh, numerator remember but uh, here uh, h value is unknown okay uh, for that, uh, as we have did in the venturi meter, same method, the H is a differential uh, uh, pressure head, it uh, before the approach of the orifice meter and uh, at the orifice meter. So, uh, we have written H is equals to P1 by rho g minus P2 by rho g. So, this is the formula what I have are the just pressure head difference at inlet end uh, that is uh, entrance and the next exit of the orifice plate or orifice meter. So, P1 is 19.62 into 10 to the power 4 divided by rho I have taken as 1000 because the fluid is water G is 9.81 minus 9.81 into 10 to the power 4 that is P2 and uh, rho is same thing 1000 and G is 9.81. I got the value as 20 as well as 10 and uh, the head difference I got it as the 10 meter of water. Now I have written as meter of water. Okay, This is h value. Substitute this h value in the equation as a 2 root of 2gh and uh, substitute uh, a1 and uh, a2 value. So 
sorry a1 and uh, a0 it's not a2 a0 is what area of the orifice plate that uh, i have written as a0 so a1 square minus a0 square and uh, upon calculation i got it as uh, 0.068 meter cube per second which is 68 liters per second this is how i got it is because so just by multiplying the 1000 to this value that is a uh, meter cube per second this is because 1000 liters will be equal to 1 meter cube that's what i am doing the conversion okay so i hope uh, you understood this it is very simple as you have seen the venturi meter problem no same thing but only the h value calculation is a little uh, varied just p r we are taking p1 by rho g minus p2 by rho g only that much is there okay and uh, next is uh, here we have another kind of problem on the orifice meter itself let us see what is the difference over here so here what they have given an orifice meter with orifice diameter 15 cm and uh, pipe diameter uh, 20, uh, 30 cm the pressure difference measured by a mercury oil mercury oil differential manometer here they have used uh, a manometer so if the pipe is like this and the uh, youtube uh, this uh, orifice plate will be placed like this and then youtube manometer will be connected like this so this uh, pressure head difference is noted so this pressure head difference is calculated reading as 50 cm this is what a manometric reading and uh, oil which is flowing in this uh, orifice is having specific gravity 0.9 and the coefficient of discharge of the orifice meter is 0.64 they have given so similarly diameter of the orifice i will write it uh, note it as uh, d not which is 0.15 meter and uh, diameter of the pipe i will note it as d1 which is uh, 0.3 meter and uh, similarly a not pi d not square by 4 same thing pi d square by 4 formula but uh, diameter what i used is uh, diameter of the orifice i got i got the answer as uh, 0.0176 meter square and uh, similarly a1 which is uh, pi d1 square by 4 and uh, diameter used is uh, 0.3 and i got the answer the area is 0.07068 meter square okay so then they have given the manometric reading shows 50 cm that is 50 cm of mercury actually the formula is what q is equals to cd into a1 into a0 divided by a1 square minus a0 square under root into root of 2gh this is the formula and uh, a1 and a0 can be calculated using the diameter d1 and d0 but uh, what about h now they have given the manometric reading right so which is uh, calculated by the formula h is equal to x into sh divided by s0 minus 1 so h, x value is 50 cm that i have written in meter 0.5 and uh, sh is 13.6 s0 is 0.9 minus 1 so i got the answer as uh, 7.05 meter of oil so it will be in meter of oil then we got the h value next is simple you know about this just substitute the h value in the uh, formula so cd is 0.64 a1 it is uh, 0.07068 a0 is 0.0176 so a1 square minus a0 square into root of 2 gh so root of 2 gh also i got okay so from this uh, the discharge upon calculation i got it as uh, 0. Uh, 1374 meter cube per second which is uh, 137.4 liters per second okay so this is uh, another easy way already have seen uh, this kind of problems right just uh, here what they have did they have given manometric reading if they have given the manometric reading then you have to use the formula that is uh, h is equals to x into uh, sh divided by s not minus 1 that uh, relation you have to use okay